welcome to my Oasis of the Seas cruise vlog. I just embarked on Oasis of the Seas today for a seven night cruise and I'm so excited. So this week again, I am volunteering with Autism on the Seas and this vlog may look a little bit different than normal because I'm not gonna be breaking up this vlog into a daily vlog. Instead, I'm just gonna show you what seven days on board Oasis of the Seas looks like. So I'm so excited. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already and follow along for the full seven days here on board. Just got into the cabin going to wait for my luggage to arrive and then unpack a little bit also if you know me you know i need coffee soon so that's what i'm gonna do as well so stay tuned for what i get up to in the next two hours that i have off as a little break and reset and unpack time Okay, I've unpacked, I've changed into some green because actually if you didn't know, it is St. Patrick's Day today and the whole ship is pretty much dressed in green. So felt like I had to be a little bit festive today when I don't have to wear my orange. So plan now, coffee. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna go to Cafe Promenade to get a specialty coffee or if I'm just going to go to, um, what's it called, the Crown Lounge and just get a latte there. I'm kind of feeling a nice coffee, so might have to happen. Let's go. <laughs> Promenade is always so busy on boarding day, embarkation day. Elevators are also usually busy, so plan ahead for that. Reasons why I love cruising. You can literally just go to Park Cafe, grab some pineapple, and enjoy it outside. <laughs> There's so many reasons I love cruising, but here's just one of the little ones. Just like that, back in orange. I had a nice little hour and a half break. It is now three o'clock. If you've watched our previous vlogs, you probably know all about this, but group check-ins sail away dinner meeting dinner and then another little meeting um and hopefully we'll be done by nine o'clock tonight so that we can go out and around the ship um because again it's saint patrick's day and i'm sure this ship is going to be so busy day one of vacation for everybody so i'm excited for what this cruise is going to bring Dinner number one is now finished. I'm headed to go change out of my orange and then I'm actually gonna go play laser tag for the first time on a cruise ship and I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna go change and then get on with the rest of my night. Also, Royal Caribbean usually does a balloon drop at midnight. So that's what all these balloons are doing here. So I haven't really updated. We went up to Sail Away around 4.30. Sail Away was scheduled to be 4.30. It is now after dinner at seven o'clock and we just heard on the announcements that we're not gonna be sailing away until around 7.30, possibly later. So I'll keep you updated, but I'm just out here on the track. I do wanna catch a quick glimpse of Miami from here and then I'm headed back to the cabin. yeah and I am headed to laser tag here in about five minutes I thought I would come up to the top deck and oh my goodness the sunset over Miami is absolutely beautiful and I just have to show you I guess perks of actually having a delayed sailing so again we were supposed to set sail at 4 30 it's currently 7 15 and who knows when we're gonna set sail we watch all the other ships pass us made it 
back in the cabin for the final time today. It is 11.14, so not too late, but I did have a great night. I hung out on deck number 15, just outside there for a while. It was so beautiful, a little light like, breeze and so nice and warm. Another great day with Autism on the Seas and another great day on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. And tomorrow will be day two here on Oasis of the Seas. It's going to just continue on this vlog and tomorrow will be Nassau. We have a full day planned of activities and exploring the ship. So if you haven't already, make sure that you like and subscribe and keep watching for day number two. to here on board Oasis of the Seas and I'm actually just headed down to grab a coffee from the Crown Lounge. I've already gone for about a 40 minute walk this morning around the track as we were pulling into Nassau and it was so beautiful so I highly recommend if you're up and awake before you expect to and the sun is rising just go out and enjoy the ship. It's so beautiful and so worth it every single time. busy morning so far we had breakfast in the windjammer and then we went to the pool for it was about an hour and a half so pool hot tub pool hot tub so much fun um and the pool was actually quite chilly so the hot tub was nice and relaxing and then we actually went up to the flow rider for our private session and that was a lot of fun um just watching everybody do the flow rider i didn't actually do it uh, but yeah it was a great time and now um, what time is it? It is 11.50 and I'm headed off the ship with my family that I'm helping out this week. We're gonna head off into port and I actually have not been off the ship in Nassau. It's probably been like five or six cruises so I haven't actually seen the new port. So I'm excited to go check that out. Probably won't be there too long, thinking maybe about 30 minutes. Then I'll probably be back on the ship for lunch shortly. So come along with me, we'll go check out the port together. favorite cruise lines all lined up here in a row. We actually have not been on Disney Dream, but we were on the Disney Wonder and Disney Magic quite a while ago. And then Virgin Voyages, that's the Scarlet Lady, which we will be on in under a month. And then um, Oasis of the Seas, which is again, one of my favorite ships. So I'm gonna head back on board and grab some lunch. Now back on the ship, it's about 1.15 and I'm headed to Park Cafe here in Central Park, just for a light lunch, it's what I'm craving. Nice little salad, maybe a sandwich and a cookie. just finished up at dinner number two here on board Oasis of the Seas and it was really good. Um, I quite enjoyed it and I'm pretty full right now but I am heading down to respite here shortly, our first respite session of the cruise. I know that I haven't really updated you too much throughout the day 
so today has just flown by i can't believe it's already almost seven o'clock so i'm headed down to the conference center here shortly and we do have a show actually during our respite session which will be fun it's the one sky show so i'll see if i can film any of that i'm not quite sure what the rules and regulations are around there so i guess we will see and then 9 15 we're off for the night so of course follow along to see what i get up to tonight day number three here on oasis of the seas i've already been out on the track for about a 30 minute walk it was nice and relaxing but so windy and very stormy so hoping that it clears up i did just check the weather it says that it's supposed to rain for the next hour and then hopefully it clears up but i am going to get ready to go meet my family for breakfast and then probably head off the ship and i'm checking out the new hideaway beach today i've never been so i'm super excited to see what it's all about and take you along with me for the day. So we were just given notice that the gangways are currently closed because of the wind. If you can't tell, I am very sad, but I'm hoping that the weather clears up so that we can still get off at Coco Cay. It is 8.30 and the gangways are still closed and that is due to wind. So we're waiting for an update here. They said that they were gonna update us in about 20 minutes. Um, to see if we will be able to get off at Coco Cay or if Coco Cay will be cancelled. Um, be careful on your way to the island and follow the instructions of our staff. And things will be in the middle of the period on your way to the island. Well, I guess that's her announcement. We're going to Coco Cay. <laughs> all-time favorite song. <laughs> you guys, I've never been so happy. The gangways are open. I was a little bit nervous there. The first people have already gotten off. What time is it? 8.34. Oh, I was so stressed. I thought we were going to have to skip Coco Pay again. Heading to one of my favorite spots for breakfast, the Park Cafe. We had some lunch and now I'm just wandering around Hideaway Beach. There are so many different cabanas that you can rent. There's day beds, but of course there's so many also free beach chairs and pool chairs. now 
7.45. I've just been sitting here for the past hour and it's clouded over again. It's getting pretty chilly. Um, yeah, it's very windy still and a lot of people have already left. Most of the beach chairs here are empty and I can't really hear many people yelling in the pool right now. So I'm gonna go up and check out the pool, possibly get in one last time and then probably head back to the ship so that I have time to shower before getting ready for dinner. okay and I have showered and what an amazing day it was although the weather was not amazing the place itself is always incredible so today we did go to hideaway beach which is a totally new experience for me and it is an additional cost it was about $30 to go to hideaway beach for the day but they do have a heated pool a beach tons of chairs they have a few different food places they have the snack shack um, equivalent and also the pizza place which I think it's called the slice of paradise I didn't end up getting that but it was amazing it was a lot of fun we went to the beach we went in the pool multiple times and even though the Sun wasn't out even though it was a little bit windy it was a great experience I actually headed out to grab a juice from Vitality cafe possibly a coffee from the Crown Lounge, and I have dinner in about 20 minutes.